today we're looking at Marlin. Um, I'm using Arduino version 1.8.10 and I'm using Marlin version 1.1.9. I tried uh, Marlin 2.0 oh, on, um, on this board but I couldn't get it working. I, I was told it would work on 8-bit but maybe it does I just couldn't get it to work anyway my board is a MKS Gen L version 1.0 at this time is no version 2's but I am aware there is a MKS S Gen L version 1.0 I uh, mistook it for the MKS Gen I've got I didn't see the S on the on the Gen part but anyway, this is not about that board, this is about the MKS Gen L 8-bit board and the settings you need. So we shall scroll down, make sure I haven't missed anything. We're in Configuration H, um, which is the file where you need to edit things. You can use custom mirror image on your boot screen or... or um, custom image or show custom boot screen if you wish uh, you need to go to these files to do that it's hexadecimal I've no idea how to do that but I'm sure you can find that online um, I think this setting is default the board rate I think this is default but that's the one that works for me defining your motherboard here it is motherboard board mks underscore gen underscore l you can find this you can either use this here or you or you can put the number the number is 53 so you could put 53 here instead but uh, this works whichever way you want to do it custom machine name this is on your home screen I just called it Poo Slice Printer because I could. Struders 1. Right, I don't think I touched any of this. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Thermal settings. Right, this one is set to number 3 here. I think I changed this to number 3. I don't think I changed it to anything else. It all depends on the thermistor you have but I'm pretty sure I've got the number three one right moving on um, you can set your heater uh, min temp which is suggested five um, your max temp uh, suggested 275 your bed temp um, I was suggested on Tom's video um, 120 not 150 so I did that I haven't touched any PID settings yet because I want to get the uh, printer functional first so the best thing to do is not touch any of this at the moment but you might want to adjust this sort of stuff here later on I think you just adjust these settings here maybe something like that um, let's go down Thermal runaway protection, it's on the default. Best leave that alone. You should not disable this. You should not comment it out. If you're getting problems with thermal runaway, you've got a problem with your printer, it's not the firmware. This this is defined to save your printer and does min max temperatures. Um that's what uh is needed for this, I think not 100% but I'm pretty sh fairly sure um, your end stops I use um, xmin which on the board it says minus on one of the xn stop ports and then it says plus on the other one so the minus one is min and the plus one is max same goes for y and z obviously um, as far as your um, wiring goes if your end stops don't work you can change this round to true and then it should work after that what I recommend first when you plug your board back into your printer and um, 
run it is check all your axes um, manually make sure they're working before you do home all um, because you don't want it crashing into anything or anything make sure X moves make sure Y moves make, make sure Z moves and then when when you're happy with that then home but be aware that if this is wrong then it will probably just grind off the end stop which usually I just turn it off and then turn it back on again uh, define your stepper drivers I haven't seen this before but I did actually put them in I'm using TMC2 100s on X, Y and Z and on my extruder I have defined um, LV8725 because that's what I got on there I don't use extruder one at the moment but I've defined that there actually come to think of it I haven't commented these out so me putting these numbers in here <laughs> hasn't actually made no difference so I might try and flash it again and see what happens but yeah mistake on my part there right moving on um, default access steps I think these are uh, default I think these two were 300 but Tom's guide said put them to 200 to start off with but you can always change them back uh, max acceleration these would default as well all this is default uh, including the jerk settings Z probe I am using uh, Z end stop as my um, for my bed leveling I, I haven't got a bed set so if you want to add, you, add your own you can put them put the settings here but you'll have to find another video for that this is just a basic one for the basic settings to get you going so I've not set any of that uh, scrolling down bed leveling that's not touched no that no bed le mesh bed leveling I haven't touched any of that either um, haven't touched any of this but you could adjust that if you wish let's keep going additional features I haven't touched any of this yet um, I'm I'm assuming these are preheats for I'm assuming this is preheat for PLA and this is preheat for ABS you could actually change this here if you want I didn't see this earlier but you could actually change this here to like say if you normally do PLA at 200 for example you could set this to 200 so when you preheat it before you start printing the file you you bang on what you need to be same for the bed you can change that as well if you want um, I didn't touch any more of this either LCD and SD support on language language LCD EN English obviously you can change it with different variations character set is Japanese why it's like that I have no idea but that's supposed to be the right one SD support I've I've uh, uncommented that so that's on there um, I think this was default on this one see I had problems with my encoder on an earlier version of Marlin 1.1.6 the um, encoder was backwards and um, it was a bit glitchy if you went too fast it wouldn't move but with these settings here I think they've revised them in Marlin now so that these do actually work well with the uh, with the uh, 12864 full graphics mark controller so the settings for that will be down here somewhere I'm sure um, there we go uncommented wrap wrap discount full graphics mark controller and I don't think there's anything else extra features let's just go down and check just in case but um no nope. nope I think that's it that's it
we can just comply verify it here I think I've already verified it so it should uh, should work fine let's give it a few seconds to uh, compile but while we're waiting um, oh it's nearly there give it a couple more seconds come on that done perfect so another if if you get coming up like this it means your compiling is done and you've got no errors if you have got errors it marks them out but it doesn't always mark them out so you might have to look up that but as far as settings in here you need your board set to this just make sure that your chip on your MKS channel is a uh, at mega 2560 processors set to that mega 2560 make sure your port set if your port set wrong then it just won't work for you so it's either on or off you know um, so yeah all you, once you've finished all you've got to do is do these settings set the port um, I think you've got to install um, uaglib which I have you can do so by manage libraries like I just did have a new a clip and it should come up at the bottom here so then you can select a version then you can click install and then it will be installed I'm using 1.19.1 so if I hadn't had it installed it would have that here and then I just clicked install and it would work but I've already got it so that's that then and yeah I think that's all the settings you need to basically get the MKS gen done so that's it thank you